the temperature is currently 48 degrees. So this is not warm enough to do any beekeeping. So the lab today might be a little bit short because we can't actually get in any of the other colonies. Honestly, these packages need to get installed. There are Georgia beekeepers, and obviously in Georgia, spring is much further along. Um, so their, their colonies have expanded and are probably on the verge of swarming if they don't do something about it. And the something they do is they make packages. So they shake these bees into a giant funnel from the colonies. And then they uh, add in a queen, seal it up, and then they load those on the trailer, and then they drive back without stopping to Ohio. And let me go grab one. Packages, straight from Georgia, picked up on Saturday. So they probably made these packages on Thursday or Friday. And if you watch the, well, have we done the swarm lecture yet? That's this coming week. Packages. So I don't think I've talked about packages yet. Um, so the way it works is you shake the bees into a box here. You add a queen, and the queen is at the other end of this strap. And it takes them three days to realize that they are no longer members of an established colony and are actually in a swarm because they have no brood pheromone, there's no wax, there's no stored pollen or nectar, yet there's a queen and a whole bunch of bees. So just by those conditions will cause the workers in here to transition from being, you know, in hive bees or foragers to being a swarm of bees. Over on which, and then shake all the bees out, and the bees will cluster around that queen just like an actual swarm. They, they think they're a swarm. And you do want to install them as soon as you can, but you want that soon to be greater than 72 hours after that queen was put in here. So these, these beekeepers coming back from Georgia, they're not in a good mood, but you might want to ask, when were these packages made up so that you can gauge when they should be installed? Um, and a lot of, this is something that I think a lot of bee clubs don't, that 72 hours is truly a magic number, something you want to keep in mind. You want to make sure they've been in here for over 72 hours. And actually, what, you can pass these around if you want to take a look at them. Just don't, don't touch, don't grab them by the screen. They can sting through the screen. Uh, there's also some plastic uh, package boxes you'll see occasionally. There are approximately 10,000 bees in there. That's three pounds. And uh, bees are sold by the pound, the just like grapefruits. Uh, a can, it looks like a peaches, you know, a can, a can for canned peaches in there. And that can is filled with high fructose corn syrup. Them as soon as you reasonably can, after 72 hours that they were shaken, but as soon as you can after that. Because you may see there's a bunch of dead bees at the bottom there. The longer they're in that package, the more dead bees will accumulate. The sooner they can start uh, drawing the wax foundation, putting wax down if you've got new frames, the sooner that that queen can start laying eggs, the sooner that these bees can really establish themselves, take some sugar syrup, and this is 50% sugar syrup, made with Chia's secret recipe of sugar syrup. Do you want to know the secret recipe? One part sugar, eight pounds of sugar. So sugar comes in little four pound packages. You buy two of those, eight pounds of sugar. One gallon of water weighs eight pounds. What a nice coincidence. <laughs> you just spritz them. And you're gonna want this for the package installation anyway. So let's give them a little it's like a little, uh, like a little treat for them. <laughs> you have your equipment ready to go. Um, ideally, you'll get this ready to go before you go pick up your packages so that you're all set. Um, and we've got, you know, everything you bought from the Blue Sky Bee Supply catalog. We've got our, our telescoping lid. We've got our inner cover. We've got deep boxes that we're using for these colonies. And then down below here, we've got the bottom board uh, on top of some cinder blocks. You need, that's not standard in every hive, is a division board feeder. This is what's going to hold this uh, secret recipe sugar syrup. So the bees can 
feet on it and it's right here. Now most beekeepers are going to start off with this. this foundation. So if you're a new beekeeper, you have no drawn frames to use. Uh, the traditional way to do this, so this is a great, great opportunity to get some of these uh, new foundation frames drawn out. Packages love to make new wax. They, because they're a swarm. Swarms are going to hollow trees that have no home in them. They are primed to crank out a whole bunch of wax. Oh man. To include at least a frame of drawn comb. And the reason we want to frame a drawn comb in here is that will give the bees a head start. Uh, that queen, as soon as she's released, can immediately start laying eggs without any delay. If it's all foundation, it's going to take her a little longer to get going because they got to make wax and then she can start laying eggs. I need another frame. Right here. Oh, there it is. Frame boxes. These feeders take up two frames. And so that's, that's what our uh, configuration is going to be. Hive equipment is all set up. So I'm just going to give them a spritz. Four per side. The other thing I've got, and this is if you're uh, selling a package, you do want to have the sugar syrup. I also like to have a sprayed bottle of plain water available. So here's our package. First thing you got to do is remove this wooden lid on it. Okay. So the strap. Uh, I, who wants to hold the queen? You could, okay. I'll, I'll, you got the queen. All right. We're gonna pull this thing out. And yeah, there's the queen. You can just actually you can pass her around. Take a look at, at her royal highness. <laughs> actually, I'm gonna, gonna buy us a couple minutes. I, I do want you to take a look at the queen. crazy here in a minute so I'm going to talk about queen installation so the next thing I'm going to do so we just kind of paused here usually you would not pause at this point you pull out the queen you would take these bees you would shake them into the box like you're pouring a box of bird flakes into this no so note this feeder is empty at this point I have not put any sugar syrup in the feeder yet options for introducing this queen the standard beekeeping approach is when you saw this, you may have noticed that there's candy at one end of this cage, and that is a special queen candy. Well, not that special. It's made of uh, powdered sugar and uh, I don't know what they, what, water? Corn syrup, powdered sugar and corn syrup. And they make the queen candy, and that serves two purposes. Purpose one is for these, uh, attendant bees to feed on that and feed the queen so that they're not going to die when they're put into a hostile package of bees to start off with. Number two, this uh, sugar, this candy here is a fuse. Think of it like a fuse. Let's say that there is, there are, uh, the pack has already been installed. What you would do is you would take this queen cage and you would just wedge it and let the queen march into her rightful uh, colony. 
And the advantage of doing it that way is you don't have to wait 12 to 96 hours for her to start laying eggs. She will start laying eggs, you know, potentially in the next hour and she can get this colony going. Um, it's been made up for 48 hours. You could do the candy one to give them a few more hours to get into the Okay, so got the bees work by a sure sort of. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, slam them down and give them a little sugar syrup to try to keep them from flying as much as I can. So All right, cornflakes. <laughs> And then I just let the stragglers get out, set this here by the entrance. And you can see what the queen? Yeah, I'm going to fill this with some sugar syrup. Oh, that is the way. Yeah, there's already one in there. Down, yeah, lady. There she is. She's in. <laughs>